Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is process validation, specifically protocols and reports. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple. Hit the subscribe button to get all the good content we're making. Check out the status bar below for the agenda and make sure you stick around for the bonus questions. Our topic, process validation protocols and reports, comes directly from 820.75 and 1345 section 7.5.6. For more detailed information on process validation, please read the GHTF document. Process validation protocols and reports in five words. Pre-approved acceptance criteria, document results. For each verification or validation that we do, we have to have a work instruction or a test method that tells us how to do the test, how to execute it, and what conformance or what the acceptance cri criteria is. In the case of a process validation, we are going to have multiple protocols and reports. A process validation consists of an IQ, an OQ, and a PQ. For each one of these phases, we will have a protocol and a report. The protocol must be approved before it is executed. Okay, It has to be approved before it's executed. A report is written to summarize the results of the execution itself. The IQ report must be approved before OQ starts. The same, the OQ report must be approved before the PQ starts. For complex validations, we may have multiple IQs, OQs, and PQs going on throughout the validation of a complex process or system. There may be software involved, there may be multiple pieces of equipment, there may be multiple sections within a larger piece of equipment. In these complex situations, we can have an overarching validation protocol that highlights all the individual IQs, OQs, and PQs. And then at the end, when all of that work is done, we will write a final summary report. It's important to note, the validation is not done until the re final report is fully approved. So how do I know this is working? Well, first, I have templates that outline the minimum requirements for each protocol and report. Second, my protocols, they are approved before I execute the validation. Third, my reports for the previous step are approved before I start the next step. And then finally, process validation is not considered complete and done and signed off until the final report is approved. So how do I know it's not working? Well, first, my validations, they're all ad hoc. The protocols and the reports, they don't follow standard templates, so they're missing required information. Second, I actually start doing the validation before the protocol is fully approved or I start the next step of the validation before the report is approved from the previous step. And then finally, deviations are not addressed and the actual final validation report, it's never approved. It's not fully approved, it's missing some signatures. And now for the three bonus questions. Do we have templates for our process validation protocols and reports, specifically templates for IQ, OQ, and PQ? How do we capture approvals of our validation protocols and reports? Are they in an electronic system or are they paper-based? And then finally, where do we store our process validation protocols and reports? Where do we store the validation records? And can you take me there? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder for Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.